Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ori, and welcome back to some Europa Universalis IV and the Magnificent Moldavia campaign. In our last episode, we went ahead and kicked off a war against Crimea and Nogai. We're over trying to knock down Nogai's capital. One thing I think we are going to do is ask Circassia to detach and start sieging some of this other land. Excuse me. If we can get Circassia to start sieging down the rest of this uh, Nogai land, we can probably knock him out of the war fairly quickly. There is, there's Nogai's army. Pretty crap general, honestly, just looking at it. There we go. Good to see Circassia is actually moving to de-siege some other lands. For real, we've gotten like six status quos in a row on this siege, and it's getting a little annoying, not gonna lie. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually take any land from no guy because it's all out of our coring range. But one thing I would not mind doing, actually, is getting uh, getting a province from the Great Horde and kicking out, like, Aster Khan. So we have some Reconquest CBs there. That would be pretty nice. Looks like we got a couple of good siege tick. We got some good siege progress going. Good to see that. They are headed up here into this Terra Incognita. Hey, maybe we'll get to see it. I don't think so. So Cassia just picked up Miltech 5, which is nice to see. They're a little bit more useful as an ally now. Okay, so Nagai has decided to siege Bessarabia. What we're going to do is we're going to go for the defensiveness edict. Stall that siege out as long as possible. And then once we get his capital, we should be able to knock Nogai out of this war in short order. We'll give a little bit of land to Circassia. I think. There we go. So, Nogai, do you want out of the war? You do want out of the war. Can I get some money from you? Ooh, we totally can get some money out of this. Might as well. 72 ducats. We're going to get 62 of that. Lovely stuff. Get out, Nogai. You're done. Thanks for the money. And, uh, yeah, Crimea is dead, which is good to see. Not gonna lie. What, however, we are still at war here. We are still at war with Crimea, and it might be a good idea to try and invade Theodoro as well. I wonder if we'd be able to call in uh, Georgia on that war. That would break up Georgia and Trebizond. Let's go ahead and move back to some friendly controlled territory. We can go ahead and turn this defensiveness edict off now. Well, we'll turn it off in March of next year. Definitely good to just have it on to uh, stall that siege out as long as we possibly could. So let's see. One more month and we'll have our claim on Theodoro. The question is, do we actually go for this war? I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it because it is another Orthodox province and it is part of the Crimea state. Hmm... Let's take a look-see at this. If we declare this, well, there's our Akatsis belly. If we declare this, Trebizond is the only one that'll join. Hmm. Treb doesn't have Miltech 6, so we do have that tactics advantage. I think we are just going to go ahead and declare on Theodoro. Our aggressive expansion is absolutely null at this point. Let's see what we would get from uh, partitioning Crimea. Crimea would join that coalition. Ottomans, Great Horde, and Crimea would join if we took that much land. That is a little scary, not gonna lie. Not going to lie. These are some pretty decently developed provinces, is partially why. So I'd be tempted to maybe just take this one. Hmm, that's a tough call, honestly. That is kind of a tough call. I think we are gonna go ahead and declare on Theodoro, though. While we're still at war here, because that will null out their uh, alliance with Circassia. Meaning we'll just have to deal with Trebizond, potentially. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Theodora, what are you doing? Goodbye. Yeah, I think we can handle this. Georgia's just definitely not in on this. Bye, Theodoro. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Now, he is still allied with Circassia, so I think we're just going to have to siege this down. And I might actually just subjugate Theodoro. It does mean we're at war with Trebizond as well, so we're going to have to sit on this until we finish uh, our second war. 
Let's see. Trebizond is deciding to go ahead and try and land some troops up in Bessarabia. If they move their whole army up there, I am tempted to leave just a little... A, a token force here in Theodoro and move over and just crush them. And it looks like they might actually be doing that. Pay for their treachery. Oh, I don't like losing this much prestige, but I definitely want the boyers to be loyal. We could actually get additional levies out of that. We're going to grant the generalship right now. And then we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll get this these additional levies as well. That does make them a bit more upset. Let's go ahead and fire this admiral. And we're going to grab our... Uh, let's see. Let's just grab the... Uh, let's grab most of this stack, actually. We're going to leave... 4k... Yeah, we'll leave 4k, grab this stack, move it up here, and then we'll send one more stack down to continue this siege with our new two siege general. Beautiful, that should speed this up fairly well. We should be able to go crush Theodoro's army now. Or Trebizond, we've already crushed Theodoro. It is still a little early in the morning for me, so I do apologize. I think we can go ahead and cancel military access here. Let's get that Diplo back in a more timely fashion shall we goodbye trebizond crunch that was easy yeah we're gonna have to hope this siege goes pretty quickly there's some more trebizond troops wall breach and theodoro which is nice to see we might actually just go start sieging trebizond that's not a terrible plan honestly I think we will do that. No, Crimea, we're not piecing you out yet. This land is going to be highly devastated. There we go. Siege of Theodoro is done. Would you just cede me Theodoro? 58 reasons. Okay, that's fine. We'll go start the siege of uh, Crimea. Or not Crimea, Trebizond. 35 reasons now. I definitely do. I think we are going to take Theodoro for ourselves because it is an Orthodox province. Even if it is Gothic culture. Which, uh, I believe that's the only Gothic culture province in the game. Yes, yes it is. So we'll probably convert that to Romanian at some point. We may also do a little bit of development on it. The Siege of Trebizond should go pretty quickly, honestly. Let's switch the two Siege Leader over there. See if we can speed that up a little bit more. Hopefully this Siege goes pretty quickly. Oh, okay, we got Crimean tribes. 31 reasons. Oh, we don't quite have enough troops to siege Theodoro, or Trebizond. If we could white piece Treb, hmm. Well, I think what we will end up doing with uh, Theodoro, I'm, I'm very sad we can't actually conquer him. I'd love to make him a vassal or something. Yeah, that sucks. I guess we'll go war reps and all your money. Transfer trade power. We can't even get transfer trade power right now. Yeah, the tribes in Crimea are being a bit of an issue. So I think, yeah, we didn't quite time this out well enough. We'll go ahead and just get war reps and transfer trade power and uh, money out of this. Damn. Damn, I was hoping we could actually get, uh... I was hoping we could actually get, uh, our troops... Our, uh, that peace deal done before the Crimean tribes took Yeti Skull. Because I think we're only going to take three provinces in this. We're going to have to kind of play this one by ear now. Yeah, they are moving to Crimea, so we will engage them in Crimea... We do have far superior generals, though, which is good. We do also have... Uh, no, no, no. Oh, dear. Whoops. This is going to go poorly. Ugh. Ouch. Goodbye, military. That hurt. That hurt. Let's go ahead and reoccupy Yeti School real quick. And then we will go ahead and peace out with Crimea. I was hoping we could get that war off against Theodoro, but it was not to be, unfortunately. Got some peasant revolts taking place. 
There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and take this. This does get us a bit of a coalition. I think I do want to go ahead and give that to Circassia. And we're going to take all of this money. We get 167 out of this, which I'm totally okay with. We get quite a bit of prestige, actually. What if we just give one province and get the Humiliate here? Yes, that's what we're going to do. And then we'll take a little bit of money as well. This does give us a lot of power projection. Well, what if we just get money? I mean, we can't get all of that, unfortunately. But we are we can still get 100 ducats from him, and we'll get 86. We did call Circassia in on favors there. So yeah, I think we are going to do this. Let's go ahead and do it then. Beautiful. Beautiful. I am stoked that we have that. So we do have Crimean peasants to worry about now. Let's see. Mission fulfilled. Expand Moldavia. Ooh. Do we take this, or do we wait until we get found Bucharest? That's a tough call. Honestly, I would be okay with taking Expand Moldavia. And then, uh, perhaps developing our current capital for Renaissance? Hmm... No, we're going to sit on that for a minute. We're definitely going to sit on that for a minute. Let's go ahead and get uh, the two provinces we can get cored, coring. And then we just wait. Uh, can we actually get out of there in time? Nope, does not appear so. Oh, well, looks like we have to fight some peasants now. That sucks. Damn peasants. Costing me manpower. Oh, well, it's fine. Let's go ahead and move on out back to our capital, our home area. Lithuania has, has canceled military access. Uh, so we have to improve relations with Lithuania a bit more to get our troops home. Let's go ahead and improve with Muscovy some more. Make sure we secure this alliance as much as we possibly can. Yeah, we can improve by 30, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We should have a bit more force limit now as well. Yep, one more force limit. Probably going to have to deal with Crimean Separatists. Let's see, how big is that Separatism movement going to be? 19k. Interesting. I still don't think it's going to take... Uh, I think we'll be okay with that, honestly. It's just a matter of getting that military access through Lithuania once again so we can get our troops home. I think we can go ahead and mothball Bessarabia. Ottomans have declared war on Venice. That's uh, interesting to say the least. We'll get one more month of improvement with Muscovy. And actually, we'll just improve through the end of the year. And then we'll go ahead and get our... Um, get our diplomat improving with the Ottomans a little bit. At the same time, I don't know if that's even really going to be helpful. I think we just kind of have to wait for our AE to tick down. And we do have that extra uh, improved relations in our national traditions, which is pretty sweet, not going to lie. Let's go ahead and build a church here in... Uh... Well, I'd like to build it in Bessarabia because that's going to give us the most income. At the same time, though, we definitely do need one here in Grigu. Gurgu? I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Because that will then turn into Bucharest at some point. But I think we will just build the church in Bessarabia for right now. There we go. Let's pull back from Lithuania. Now get that military access. Beautiful. I think we still have a decent sized spy network on Crimea. Not quite. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, build another spy network. Just uh, see about getting some more claims on this land. Um, Yeti school gets lowered taxes. Oh, that raises autonomy. Hmm. Well, I think what we're going to do is we'll raise autonomy and then lower taxes to get even more local unrest there. Unrest reduction, I should say. That's not too bad overall. Let's go ahead and uh, take our general off. Cease to pay the army for the time being. We will go ahead and raise one more infantry. Get up to our force limit. 
Muscovy's doing pretty well at this point. I do like seeing that. And I would love to call him in against uh, Lithuania when we get the chance. Let's pull back from Muscovy, actually. See what we can do. Yeah, as soon as we can get Muscovy to accept a call to arms against Lithuania, I think that's going to be a pretty solid idea. Not going to lie. 12 favors with Circassia, 18 with Georgia, which is pretty awesome. How are we doing favor-wise with Hungary? Hey, we get one every two years now. That's pretty good. I'm hoping that Hungary just goes ahead and rivals the Ottomans at this point. He should. Hopefully. Wow, look at that Savoy General. 5-5-3-2. Five, five, what a beast. What a beast of a general. Crimean Separatists. Mmm... Yeah, I think we are going to have to put down some Crimean Separatists. They are going to fire in Crimea, which is not too awful. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, should have muted my mic for that. Let's see. One base production in uh, this province. Cannot afford to anger the uh, Cossacks. Yeah, I think we will bring the serfs back. Because that makes this a slightly better province. But now the Cossacks are a bit upset. At the same time, it's not too big of a deal because we don't have much in the way of cavalry. We're not a super cavalry-focused nation currently. Let's go ahead and protect trade in Constantinople, actually. And of course, we still have this fleet set up to retreat during times of war. Ooh, there went the Savoy army, even with that absolutely god tier general yeah let's just keep an eye on these mold uh, these crimean separatists we do have that military access with lithuania still which is good i think we'll go ahead and get a claim on get a claim on mansoor honestly should be just fine i'm super bummed out that we couldn't actually get theodoro conquered are you Genoa is still a member of the HRE? Let's go ahead and build a spy network though, because we should be approaching the time, almost approaching the time where uh, Shadow Kingdom fires. Oh no, Frost! Why have you left us so early? Ooh, that is expensive. I think we have to do it though, honestly, because I hate sitting at minus one stab. Why did you leave us, Frost? That is uh, unfortunate, to say the least. Oh, well, we are going to get Alexander Musat, or Alexandru Musat, uh, up and on the throne pretty quickly. Speak of the devil, and he shall arrive. A, a 460, which isn't bad, so we're definitely going to leave our focus on military. Tolerant. That's pretty good, actually. Gives us a little um, extra tolerance of the true faith. Or tolerance of heretics and heathens. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and accept that royal marriage. We'll pull back from Crimea and re-up the other royal marriages ourselves. There we go. Yeah, Sir Cassie has definitely been a bro this campaign. I'm glad to see that. Let's go ahead and improve relations with Hungary. Oh, we need that royal marriage with Hungary as well. 424 Queen, cannot complain about that. We'll go ahead and do some more relationship improving with Hungary. And there's the Crimean Separatists that we knew we were going to fire. So let's grab our 2412. Four Shock is lovely. We're going to go ahead and set up over here in Yeti School. And then go crush this 5 stack. And then come down here and crush this 14 stack. We'll need a few months for our morale, but this shouldn't be too much of an issue overall. And this fort's going to hold for a while. We are going to leave this fort here in Crimea. Just because it's another uh, fort that our enemies will have to siege down. It's not the most defensible terrain by any means. Let's see. Yeah, Steps doesn't really give you any uh, defensiveness at all. Which is kind of a shame, but... It is going to be a decent fortress to hold on to because it is so far uh, removed. They're going to Zafrazi. Is that a Crimean core? That is a Crimean core. 
Wow, these are all cores of Crimea. I didn't know that. That's interesting, to say the least. Alright, well, I guess we'll deal with that 5 stack in a minute. We'll deal with the 14 stack first. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Even numbers. Yeah, Separatists are super weak overall. Let's get, like... Oh, I was gonna get a check on the exact morale. But I do know it's pretty weak from experience. Alright, well, I think we're actually... Hmm, I do want to do some development because we are quite a ways ahead of time on Miltech. I think we'll do it in the capital. Expand Moldavia, that gives us three development local dev cost. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. That's going to be fine. And then we'll go ahead and turn on uh, development edict here. Do some more developing here. I think we'll just go all the way up to 20 dev, honestly. That should help help out our manpower as well as our force limit. That did get us to 15 force limit. Lovely stuff. Do quite like having the Cossacks estate just because of that extra 15% force limit modifier. It's pretty nice to have, honestly. Another mission fulfilled. High income. Lovely stuff. Let's go ahead and get that. Might as well. Alright, so we're just going to shadow these Crimean Separatists for right now. We will go ahead and make this a state. Mm, yeah, it's 10 development. Let's go ahead and statify it. Because we, w I am going to take that uh, land at some point. Mm, I think we're going to lose the innovativeness here and avoid the unrest. Because I'm not a huge fan of getting more unrest here than we have to. How are we doing on Renaissance? Not too bad. We'll get it in 1500 here. Which, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It looks like it's spreading pretty quickly through Hungary, though. Did Hungary go ahead and embrace? That's the real question. Yes, he did. Okay, so we are going to be getting Renaissance before 1500, which is nice. Oh, excuse me. I had to clear my throat real quick. Still a little bit sick, for those of you wondering. So let's go ahead and check this. We could actually ally Genoa. Eh, he does. Genoa has his damn trade league too, which is kind of an issue. Well, we're going to go ahead and just crush these Crimean separatists real fast. We did just. We did take land in three different states. I just realized that. I always forget Yeti School isn't part of the Crimea state. Hmm. We'll have to see how this goes. So the devastation here is gone. Excellent. Good to see that. We can go ahead and mothball this fortress now. Lovely stuff. Army is replenished. Let's go ahead and take our general off. Give him a longer life. We'll go ahead and get up to 13,000 troops. Is there anything else we can do with our estates right now? Not really. Not really. I do want to conquer this land from Genoa because it is all part of the Crimea trade node. Which currently is our home node. It's not the best home node in the world, but for now it's going to have to do... It's going to just have to work, basically. There we go. Crimea gets to become a state as well. That does slow down our admin quite a bit, unfortunately. But we are getting seven a month, which is very good to see. Serbia no longer considers us a rival because they're no longer a valid rival. Good for them. Stab cost modifier. That could be nice. Yearly prestige. Hmm. Let's see. We do need a new uh, rival. We could rival Poland? No, we're going to rival Genoa. Do we? Okay, we don't need another one. But we can actually rival Poland now. That's kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous, not gonna lie. We do have 136 dev, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool to see overall. So as soon as Shadow Kingdom fires, we're gonna be able to go to war with Genoa. We'll call some of our allies in on that, and we'll just conquer this Genoese Crimean land. Hopefully incur a little less AE with our uh, Sunni neighbors. But we will kind of have to play that one by ear. I think we will actually go ahead and unmothball the transport fleet and add one more to it. 
mainly so we don't have to uh, worry about holding on to this military access with Lithuania. That should be should be good for us overall. We'll core this up as well. Because at some point, I do want to convert this land. And we will probably end up making this a state. We do need uh, any little thing we can get right now is good as far as uh, economy goes. We could actually accept Crimean culture right now. Let's see. I think we will. It's 30% of our development. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Matter is beyond our control. Poland gets border friction, CB. Yeah, matters beyond our control, man. I want my Cossacks, Cossacks to no longer be angry. That's the main thing. Alright, well, let's check force limit one more time. 17 now. That is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. But on that note, we do have to go ahead and wrap things up for this episode. So, as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in and spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you're enjoying the series, please remember to drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future. If you would like to help support the channel monetarily, it is very, very much appreciated. Please do take a moment to check out the Patreon link is in the description. Also, make sure you go over, head on over to my Twitch page. Drop me a follow. I am streaming daily over there. Uh, and if you would like to join a growing community on Discord, there is also a link to that down in the description. As always, my name is Ori. I do hope you have a fantastic day, and we will catch you in the next one.